Hi guys, it's Candace. Welcome back. I know another number three Etsy shares window shopping or for some of you Etsy enablers. What can I say? I can't help it. So this is from Polka Art Studio. Now she has a 40% off coupon for, um, for Journal Me Crazy and the coupon is called Journal Me Crazy. So off her whole site. This is her Falling for Fairies Autumn Poems. Oh my gosh, this is so different. Um, I mean, it's just really pretty. Now, if you don't, you know, I mean, just think of it this way. Wouldn't that just be a beautiful little journal card? I know. I know I didn't print nothing on the back. So, but look, she has this little, I don't know what he is. A sweet little troll. Now... Mia's not a cute little troll. Okay, she is, but she's mean. But it just has some a little little story in there, too. Oh, look at those. I mean, isn't it just pretty? And look at her. She's a little fairy girl with, with her little bat wings and her little pumpkins. Oh, oh. and these colors. Mm, mm, mm. Look, he's a little dragon. A little dragon with his little baby wings. Oh, and just, I mean, the artwork is so pretty. And look at her, she's playing her little guitar. Another little baby dragon. I know, it's just so whimsical and cute. It's just pretty. And then you just, like, the little door to go into the magical kingdom. Oops, I got two pages here, y'all. And then look, little fountain. Oh. I mean, she's just so pretty. And then those, you know, I mean, you could just be ripping and tearing all around there for collaging and stuff. Oh, look at that pretty stack of books. Magic spells. I know. You can kind of get lost into these things. Oh, and this almost looks like a pearl. I mean, it just, mother of pearl, it has the dimensions. And look at this one. The little, the little dragon, he's got his little scarf on. I mean, that's what you'll see in the page because, you know, you're not seeing that. But, oh, I know I have to make sure I go check in the digital, make sure I put them in the right, the right number when I put them together. <laughs> oh, look at that. I know. Hey, Dawn. So cute. Oh, my gosh. And if you're not into him, then put something else on there if you like the girls. Oh, they're so pretty. And look at that little background page. That's a pretty, pretty background page. Can be used for a lot of other things. And then this one too. Great for journaling. And then she has some that she ha that she does this way. A lot of her journals are like that. So you can do whatever with them. But I have some thoughts. Now these are the, back, the um, background pages. Oh. This all comes in that kit, though. Aren't those so pretty? And like I said, you can mix and match them with anything with these colors. You know, if you don't like that, then you can put a pocket on or something. I don't know. Oh, I love these flowers. I mean, I could just see tearing those out to put on a journal card. And, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah uh-huh. And I love this. You know, there could be pumpkins in the ocean. Why not? There's everything else out there. And then that one. Oh. And I love, like, the inside looks like metal. And then it looks like, you know, you won't get to see that in, you know, the journals. But she's got, like, <laughs> that twine. That's what that is. Twine in there. Oh, look at those. I love the colors. So pretty. Now I was like, this might be, but no, it's not. It's a different thing. But anyway, oh, look at that little butterflies. This is just screaming to print another page and cut it right there so you have a little tuck. I know. Yep. That's what it says to me. Look at that. Oh, once upon a time. Isn't she the cutest? And I want one of him. 
probably scare the dogs to death, but, and then once again, she has some tall ones. Now this would be fun to make some of those tall journals with, or put that on the cover of a, what's the, the, that thing? It's not a cosmopolitan <laughs> composition notebook. Wouldn't that be pretty to have on, on the cover of one? Same thing as here. I mean, this you could actually, you know, cut it down and put it, make it a smaller page in your journal and then use that as a strip and just all kinds of stuff. Oh, she's just so pretty. And then some different, this would be pretty on, you know, composition notebook. I know, I obviously need a drink or something. I don't know. I sure wish I had one because, man. And then look at him. Oh, the three little friends. <laughs> oh, he'll be stuck in the middle. Oh, well. But they're so cute. And then these are the fussy cuts and stuff in there. So you got journal cards and little pockets and just, oh my gosh. I love these little things. Those colors are just so pretty. So soothing, relaxing. Oops. Except for when I spin you round and round. Uh-oh. This one's going to be, oh, and that one is too. I don't know what I was doing when I was printing. That's all I got to tell you. Okay, hold on. Ooh. All right. Now. Oh, these are three different strips. Because the words go this way, this way, and then that away. But. It's still a pretty page. Oh my gosh. And then look at that. I mean, he, I'm sorry, he's just too stinking cute. And wouldn't that be pretty if you had that, you know, in your house? A window that you decorated it? I oh, know. And then this, you cut them out. I'm guessing it's a pocket. Let's see. <laughs> it says print on cardstock. Well, I did not. So. Um, glue the lateral flaps, insert the card. So yeah, he's a little, um, what you, what you face, a specimen card thing, but oh, look at that little fortune teller bowl with all the leaves. Yes, there it's coming. It falls a coming. Oh my gosh. And then look at this, this little folder and then these pretty little girls and then. I know I got to speed up, huh? Then this is a an envelope, and then a lot the large envelope, which would be a beautiful tuck. I know. And then look at this. Oops. Okay, I guess I need to. Oh, that that might be a double page. I know. I'm telling you. Look at this pretty unicorn. I mean, oh my gosh. So that's another little pocket, and then these are the tags for it, and then this is. A little pocket on there and then this one um, you put these three on here as a pocket and then I'm guessing this is a tag and this is just a belly band maybe oh how pretty this is an extra that looks I don't know are they yeah obviously I just went you know like I said when you start printing all this stuff out you just get confused and this is yep this is two, so that's, I just, yep, went a little cuckoo birds on that. So I got two, yep, sure did. Got two of everything on that one. Well, shoot. That's a lot of glue in for me. <laughs> anyway, so that is the Falling for Fairies Autumn Poems, her um, junk journal kit. Oh my gosh, it's just too cute. And then... 40% off coupon is Journal Me Crazy. So there's that one. And then look at this. I know. This is Polka Art Studio also. This is her Halloween Fussy Cuts. I'm sorry. They're just, they were too cute. I just, I needed them. I asked her please. And she sent them to me. So look at this. You can, you know, cut and glue them back to back. Or you could just cut it and slap that puppy down. Maybe make it a tuck spot. I don't know. But, oh. I just thought they were so cute. And yes, I want to shop that little Halloween shop. Oh, I love that one. And then here, oh, this reminds me of Brianna. Oh, my my friend 
Carolyn's kitty cat, Salem. <laughs> but, oh, aren't these just so pretty? Oh. And look at the owl ones. Oh, my gosh. I know. It's just so cute. And these little kid faces. Ah! Oh. I love that green. She has a pretty green um, journal kit that I'm going to have to do for next year because I just love the green. Oh, look at her. I know. Oh. You know, if you don't like it to say Happy Halloween, just cut that puppy out and use that as a fussy cut. Yeah. You sure can. <clears throat> look at that pretty kitty. Mmm, yummy. Give that to me, please. I wonder if they sell them in that bakery. <gasps> look at that cake. Oh, yeah. I know. I think I might be a little hungry. Look at that little doll. Oh, my God. She's so cute. I'd even eat that one, too. I know that's sad, huh? But look at that. I mean, oh, my gosh. Isn't that the sweetest little thing? She has oh, Christmas ones like that. But, you know, I can't be thinking about that yet. I know I got to do it soon. And then you get these two background papers with it. This is pretty. I mean, they'll go with a lot. And then this one, too. So that is <clears throat> Halloween Fussy Cuts. Tags and labels. Once again, 40% off coupon. Journal Me Crazy. And it's 10 pages on that one. And then this is just a little extra that um, with pumpkins. I just thought they were pretty. And um, just each of them has something that, you know, little fairy house in there, which could be Disney World. Oh, that reminds me of Wizard of Oz, maybe. I don't know. But, oh, just such pretty little pumpkins. And then different size pumpkins. I know it's not a big little kit, but it's a cute little kit. I know I do have one in here. There's a, you know, some Christmas stuff, but I just couldn't, you know, I got enough. I got to finish the other ones too. So this is called classic Christmas and it's just clip art, little fussy cuts. I mean, look how pretty. Oh, look at that poinsettia in the carriage and that house. Oh yes. I'd like to, I'd like to visit there, please. Drink some hot chocolate in the window with the snow. Yeah. And Santa's are so cute. And a double wick candle lantern. Oh. The little winter bird. A little winter fairy. Is she cute? I mean, oh. It's just really pretty. They're just different. I know. Gotta have a little Nomi in there. Ain't he cute? Pretty. Look at that little fairy. Oh, hush, Laura. And the little birds, candy cane. Oh, yeah. I love that. Oh, yep. That looks comfy, too. Look at that one. Um, I know they're just so pretty. The colors are so pretty. And then look, little Santa's shop, his little elves at the workshop. Oh, such a pretty window. Mm. But yeah, I thought those those are really pretty. And that's the classic Christmas um, clip art, which are fussy cuts. And then this one. Oh my gosh, y'all. She has a Nutcracker folio. I don't know. I sure like to have it, but man, oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. This is the cutest little thing. I saw this last year, and I was like, no, 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 no. But this year, yep, well, sh you know, she's going to let me do a guest design thing. So, Makes you want to see. I've never seen the true Nutcracker, the little ballet thing or anything. Makes you really want to have seen it when you see all this stuff in here. Oh my gosh. The colors are so pretty. Look at all those little animals and the little, little girl toy soldier. You know. Princess Di, if she was a toy soldier. I know, that's just what came to mind. Don't know why. Oh, she's so pretty, too. I guess this is Barbie. Natch, come on. 
Come on, cold weather. Man, I hope they freeze these stink bugs. <laughs> oh, but, and I guess this could be Barbie, huh? Yup. Oh my gosh. I don't know what the deal is with the little, to all these people, but I know they're part of it and I'm going to have to figure it out because they're the stinking cutest little things in the world. I know it's all about the dance, but I like the little animals. Oh, but I mean, aren't they just, the, oh, the images are so pretty. My grandmother used to collect nutcrackers. All the little nutcrackers in there. <laughs> I know he has a name. I don't know what he is. But, oh, he's too cute. I love this page. I'm guessing that's the... What's that thing in Russia, huh? Yeah. And then background papers. Oops, I'm thinking this should go this way. <laughs> but, I mean, you could use these in anything. I know, I think this is upside down too. Oops, hold on, y'all, I'm sorry. Oh. And I'm sure I'm flipping around backwards too. But, oh, I love the blues. That one actually has snowflakes. I know you can see with yourself, but I'm just telling you. Because I, you know, really didn't look at them. Because all I, oops, yep. Because I was just a printing fool. Trying to put paper in there and not let it get stuck. Oh, look at that. Yep. I could live there. Look at this ice. Ice, ice baby. All right. And then she has a couple tall ones in there. Once again, you can make a tall journal. Put it on a composition book, notebook. Wrap a gift with it. You know, I'm sure you could get up to a three by three maybe or even a, I don't know, a four by six. I don't know. Small gift wrap. Think about that, y'all. Yup. Oh my gosh, look at this one. Mm -hmm. I know it's late. I'm yawning. I'm sorry. And then, you know, I go up there and... And this is the pockets and journal and cards and tags and stuff. Oh. <laughs> cheeky, cheeky, cheeky. I know. Sorry. Oops. Well. Okay. Looks like we got to take another spin. Woo. And here's some pockets. Little tags. Some more of the little pockets. And then she has this again where you layer these up and make a little a three tuck pocket and some tags go in there and a belly band. And then some more pockets and tags. And then look at this envelope. Oh my gosh. So pretty. Oh, man. How did I get... Oh, I kind of get that upside down. One's upside down and one's not. <laughs> so don't fret, Candace. And it says, fold the, fold the outer flaps and glue them. I think that's supposed to be outer flaps. I don't know. We'll have to follow the instructions. To form a pocket. I'm guessing... I don't know. 
I'll have to go look on her her site to see you know what's what but that's a huge a huge kit and like I said if you you know don't want to do the um, the nutcracker a journal she has a folio on there that you can use 40% off and and make I know I really wanted to do it but doggone it I have all this other stuff and then I know this is I always print them beforehand so this is the clip art for the nutcracker but oh how pretty huh Kitty, kitty, goo. Come on, fingers, work with me. Mm. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah. I love them nutcrackers. Mm, look how cute. I know. Those are sweet, aren't they? So that's the nutcracker clip art. I have a paper clip somewhere. Oh, goo 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 me goo. Well, we'll just have to put him there. All right. I know I'm going to get him confused. Well, I got one. Hold on. If I can get it with my finger. Just so I don't get it mixed up with this. This is the pastel Christmas. These are, you know, um, there's the pastel and there's more of a regular green and red tone. This is this is what she sent. Oh my gosh. So French. Even though it says Boston. <laughs> Just so, you know, back in the day, so Victorianish. And little tea. Mmm, yummies. Stop. Oh, look at the deer. And the little Cinderella carriage. I know. The carolers looking out the window. Santa. Papa Noel and his reindeers. I guess they would actually call him Father Christmas there, huh? In the stockings. But yeah. I mean, if you like the pastel -y blues and pinks and stuff. Oh. And once again, you can use this page. You can use some of these pages and other things. Not just to Christmas. Oh. I know, aren't they pretty? Hmm. Isn't she cute? Compliments of the season. I know you're cold out there. Oh, that's a plate. <laughs> I love that snowflake. Oh, Father Christmas, those little woodland friends. Yummies. With background papers. I guess I might have got them out of whack. Who knows? Like I said, it is a chore. <laughs> it is a project printing. I mean, it takes all day to do all these. Mm -mm. Oh, and then look at these tags and stuff. Oh. Oh, I know. Stuck. And then she did another little three-tier little three -tier pocket on here again. Look at the penguin. Oh, my gosh. Now, see, you know, I'd have to, I don't know what. It says, fold here, secure glue by folding flaps. Well, she's going to be upside down for one. So I'd have to cut it off and just put her as a pocket. And then, you know these go in there and the same thing with them you know I don't follow directions at all and these are the fussy cuts that go in there oh, 
These are so pretty. Look at that little envelope. And these little envelopes. Oh, and the little journal cards. Some more pockets. Mm. So pretty. Oh, look at that background paper. Well, okay. And then look at this. This is really pretty. Little Christmas advertisements. And then these ornaments. So that's that one, which is Pastel Christmas. I know I'm not making them neat because I have to go through them and decide what, you know, who I want to print and all that fun stuff. And then this is the Enchanted Fairy Chronicles. These are all large. Like I said, I think I need to challenge myself to make, this would have to be center signature. To make a tall journal. What y'all think? Oh, look at that. Mm. Yep. So I think we shall. Oh, I love that reindeer. And once upon a time, look at that. I think her name is Tinsel. Only because I read some story in another one. <laughs> oh, isn't that pretty? But yeah, I think we need to do that. What y'all what y'all what y'all think? Let me know in the comments. Should I make one of the a tall funky journal? Oh, I know. And then how do you choose who's your cover with those pretty things? But anyway, so there's that one. And then this, I know, this is not for everybody, but it is the cutest little thing. It is Tinsel and the Yule Dragons. Oh my gosh. I mean, it's just cute. It's different and it's cute. And there's a story about it too, so... I know you have to read it. It's an actual book. I had to make sure I put them in the right order. And I'll make sure I flip them in the right order. But, oh. Little dragons. What's funny is I have a pair of little whimsical dragons like this up in my laundry room. Because, you know, everything we ever did, we always bought two of. You know, one for me, one for John. Oh, I love that sleigh. And little squirrelies. Talking over, reading a book, talking over some nuts. Oh, look at the bunnies. And then these sweet little dragons again. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry. It's just something different and unexpected. If you have like a tween or something, or there's a lot of adults that love dragons, this would be awesome for them. Oh my gosh. Look at that little puffy owl. Little girl says, give him to me. <laughs> I'll make him squeak. Oh. Little gopher. So cute. I mean, I'm sorry. Those two look like they get into trouble all the time. And it kind of reminds me of like Maybe a little Nardia type, you know? But, oh, just so cute and so different. <laughs> the little dragons opening their presents with their little wood tree. Isn't she pretty? Oh. Her name's Tinsel. And I'm trying to grab a page with my finger. The end. Well, obviously, they're all out of wonky. I don't know. Like I said, I have to look and see.
Yep. The two little bunnies helping each other. Merry and bright. How sweet. Oh, I love that. I know, like I said, I really didn't look at a lot of them. Because I was busy printing. So when I'm flipping through with you, I'm, I'm oohing and on too. Because I'm looking for real. I mean, like, really looking at them. I know. I thought that was a bunny pause for a little bit, but it's part of a reef. <laughs> I know. Sorry. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. <coughs> I love that background page. And I love this too. Oh. And then look how cute. Little envelopes. Oh, darn it. I did have, I was on a roll. Okay, I think this way. <laughs> And then these pockets for here. Oh my gosh. Look at that baby dragon. Here's a little baby Christmas tree. Remember when you're little, you always get, you know, got little little miniature Christmas trees for your room. And another little three tier pocket. Another beautiful coin pocket and a tag. Oh, look at this envelope. That reminds me of Gatlinburg. <laughs> Look at these. <laughs> Another one of those fold, taggy pocket thingy jiggies. Oh, that would be a pretty cover. Topper. Oh, look at that. That's just happy. Mmm. Yep. Hmm. And then this one, that would be cute too. I mean, she's just so sweet. All right. That's, that is this unusual tinsel and Yule dragons. I mean, just, it's cute. Like I said, if you know anybody who loves dragons and fairies, that's awesome. And then this, oh my gosh, I had to go get it. This is from Bontic Vintage Designs. It's the fabric scraps. I'm telling you, he's 60% off, so JMC60. I don't know which way they go, but you really feel like you're going to pick up a button that you could feel the fabric, see the stitching, all the textile, I mean, the grains and everything. It's so pretty. Oh, the, and by the way, these are his half pages. So that's, that's a half a page and that's a half a page. You get eight half pages and the rest full pages. So if you're wondering why it's a little, they're different because this is, you know, if you fold it in half, you get that and that. Somebody's up there licking that water bowl. They don't have to hold their horses. And this, I just thought this was really pretty. This would be pretty to put with, um, oh, is it they parade? Uh, something pear. She had the dis distress colors like this. Oh, that would be a beautiful colorful journal to do. This you got like string wound up and just mesh just oh like i said this half of it that's the other half so pretty reminds me of that um what's those journal covers gail did where she just puts them all on there sews them she puts it on that disappearing stuff and then yeah you know, that's too much work just sew them on a piece of fabric or or stabilizer and leave it on there <laughs> but anyway it's gonna be covered anyway Look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. And it just really inspires you to go find some materials and stuff like this and make some of your own. Well, that's what it did me. Look at them buttons. Oh, I think that's the last page of the halves. Oh, no, I lied. There's this one. Oh, they're so pretty. Oh my gosh, there's another one. 
I know that was more than eight. That's what it said. Okay, here's the fulls. So this is just like blue jeans. Blue jeans and orange buttons. Blue and orange. And then look at that. Oh. Yep. So pretty. Bunch more blue jeans. I don't know, just these colors and, like I said, the textures just jumped out at me and said, buy me. You must have me. And I said, okay, quick. Because it's on sale. Now, I'm guessing these, oh, that is like seed stitching. Because I'm like, it looks like little seeds, but I could see that the thread has actually gone into material. Well, I guess that's why it's called seed stitch, huh? Don't, don't know. Hmm. Pretty, pretty. I just thought this was different and pretty. I love this one. See, but... Well, I can feel there's two. There you go. Well, there. I know. It's 32 pound paper, but man, sometimes I just can't grab them. Aren't those just pretty? Oh, there's another half a page that got stuck in there. So, anyway, like I said, when you start printing all this stuff, it just all blends together sometimes. So, that is that kit, which is fabric scraps. And yes, it is, but they're so pretty. All right, well, there. I hope you guys enjoyed this one with um, mostly Polka Art Studio. And a little, another one of Bontic Vintage Design. But I know I had to, I went and did some Christmas stuff. Oh my God. And, but we do have Autumn and Halloween. <laughs> I know a lot of you guys don't care for it. Well, anyway. So, I know you can't see them, but you can, I'm trying to get some of the little colors in there so you can kind of see let me see <laughs> i don't let me see let me see all right well there you go i know it's just a big old hot mess i don't know how to do those little you know take pictures and making little squares and all that stuff so anyway you just have to trust me that they're beautiful and just enjoy the flip through and the window shopping and oh so get your oohs and ahs on get inspired by some colors and some other things so I hope you enjoyed this one, and um, like I said, we've got to get back to work, and I figured out what I'm going to do for my covers for these that, you know, that we left off on, <laughs> our entomology, uh-oh, why is that there? Oh, dogs. So, obviously there's a, a to-do project, because there's that in there, but I, I know what I'm putting on the cover, so I'm going to get those, oh, sorry, did me so loud, wake up. Um, so I know what I'm putting on the covers on there and then, uh, we'll get back to crafting and creating and making more messes. So I will see y'all in the next video. Thanks for watching again. Thanks for sharing some of your time with me and your day with me. Um, thanks for all your love, all your support. Thank you for your wonderful comments. I mean, for you guys, you know, that come and comment something, even if it's just a heart or a thumbs up or a, a something. It, it does, it, it means the world. So thank you for everything and lots of kisses, lots of love. Y'all have a great day and a blessed day. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye guys.